Even the front yard's huge. Yeah, it's a huge lot. It's dark. Well, at least there's like weather protection to go to the garage. This has to be a back door. You're walking into a kitchen. Interesting. Oh my God. All right. Hmm. All right. So this kitchen's not that big. It would cost us like uh, probably eight or nine thousand. It'd be nice to open it up. It's in here. Here's a formal dining room. It's pretty small. So these arches are kind of cool. Yeah, it has, has a lot of character actually. We could put a matching arch on the kitchen wall that would make the kitchen feel bigger and it wouldn't cost that much. Yeah, I like the archway. Hmm, okay, so back here. Wow, look how old that bathroom is. This is a huge bathroom though. It's just a weird layout. All right, well, if we were to redo this whole thing, that would be like eight to 10,000. Where's the bedrooms? This has got to be the master. It's big. And it has a pretty decent sized closet, but I kind of hope it's not the master because it's not a private bathroom. Okay, so we have another bedroom. What is this? Oh no. This is the second bedroom in the house. So this has to be the third. How weird. You walk through a bedroom to get to a big bedroom? Imagine us walking through Taylor's room to get to our bedroom. <laughs> Definitely not. This is a three bedroom, two bath, 1600 square foot home, but the layout is very weird. The kitchen, living room, and the guest bath connect in a loop with the bedroom off to the side. And down the hall is a small bedroom that you have to walk through to get to your master bedroom and bathroom, and then another large bonus room. This room's huge. There's a lot of cockroaches in here, like a whole swarm of them. Luckily, they're all dead. Let's go see the lot. All right, so. The yard. I have no idea why this vinyl fence is here. What's that shed? I don't know. So this is like their little patio area, right? What do you do with all this concrete? What do you do with any of it? I know the fence and the shed need to come down. Wow. Jeez. It's huge. I mean, th this is where the money's gonna be made on this flip. I mean, look, look at this. If we can subdivide, this lot's gonna be worth 200,000. The if question is, can we? Yeah. So what do you want to do now? I'm worried about the inside more than anything, so let's go get Jake, have him come out, see what he thinks about rehab. All right, so what do you find? What do you think it's gonna cost? Well, I think we can get it done for about 65 grand. What do you think about that giant lot? It'll take me a few weeks to figure out if zoning will approve it and we can go from there. We really can't wait that long to make the decision. Somebody else is gonna get the house. I know it, this is a really desirable area. So we'll run some numbers. I'll, I'll shoot you a call a little bit later and let you know what happens. Okay, great. Good seeing you, man. All right, see you guys. Bye. Thank you. Okay, so no matter what, 550, never going to happen. No, let's just say rehab was 65,000, closing cost 25,000. And if we paid 500,000, our break even would be 590,000. Yeah. If we can split the lot, it's a home run. If we can't split it, like worst case scenario, I think we break even. It is risky. I know, I, I kind of want to do it. I think we can do it. It's I, risky, but we both love a good gamble. Yeah, that is true. We offered $500,000 and the seller countered at 510,000, so we accepted. That means our margins are gonna be really tight on this house, but we can still make a really big profit if the city approves the lot split. We should find out about that in a couple of weeks, but in the meantime, it's time to start demo. <laughs> With the demolition done, it's time to fix the weird layout of the house. Nobody wants to walk through the small bedroom to get to their master. We really need a solution. Okay, so bottom line is we, we have to put up a wall here, we have to put in a door, and we have to build a closet. Nursery? <sighs> Poor baby. I have an idea. We'll stage it as an office. Yeah. And then whoever buys the house, they can determine how they want to use the space. I think that is the most cost-effective and best option we have. Should we do at least like a pocket door or something? That way the door won't swing open and close. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. All right, we'll get it done. We're gonna put up a wall with a pocket door and add a closet. It's gonna be a really small room, but it's necessary in this case.
We have to do something with this tiny master bathroom. You absolutely don't like this layout. Babe, you're standing in the vanity, just so you know. That's the vanity, that's the toilet, and this little tiny thing in here is the shower. I just think for a master bedroom of this size, it's not impressive. So what if we just remove this and made wall-to-wall -wall shower, floor to ceiling? Okay. Like Super impressive. And then we can do a big double vanity. And then we can do a toilet. In order to do that, we're gonna have to remove this wall. Right, and mm -hmm. then don't forget that once you push out this wall, you push into the closet, so the closet's gonna have to move as well. Uh, how much is that gonna cost? 2,000 max. So worth it. So it actually, the master bathroom, when it's done, is gonna be all the way to here. That's huge. Yeah, it's gonna be really nice. Check out how amazing the arch looks. Oh yeah. Looks cool, huh? Yeah, it matches. Look at it perfectly. Yeah, it has great flow now. And remember this room, I'm gonna go pick something really cool for the ceiling. I'll Chandelier? Surprise I'll surprise you. Okay. I was thinking for this kitchen, I think it would just look like clean, classic look. White shaker cabinets, marble counters. So I had originally picked these as backsplash options, but I was thinking it would look really pretty if we carried the slab up and did a full marble backsplash. Well, it's gonna be cheaper than these because this material per foot's really expensive. Yeah, it will be cheaper. I love it, I think you did a good job. I think it's gonna look really pretty. Great news, guys. We got we heard back from the city. We got approved to split the line. Do you know what this means? What? That means we're actually gonna make money here. I think we can get anywhere from like 150 to 250 for it. It's awesome. It's great news. So now we just have to put up a fence to divide the lots. We still have a lot of work to do back here, though. Main problem out here is honestly the concrete. It's like all these different levels. It makes no sense. There's probably 10 different materials. How much is it gonna cost if we had to pour all new concrete in a new driveway? The driveway too. We're up it's there. Like 11,000. At least. Let me look at it real quick. Slope, step. I have an idea. This concrete's good, that concrete's good, but the biggest problem I'm seeing is that piece. If we get rid of this piece, what do you think? 300 bucks? Yeah, a couple hundred. I say we get rid of that, put some mulch and flowers or sod or something. And what about that concrete pad? People can use it as barbecue space. You like my idea, Jake? I like it. Let's run with it. Okay, cool, we have a game plan. Check it out. You know what? This is like the biggest selling point of the house. We have a private master bedroom. Someone can have a patio, hang out in the backyard. Yeah, it feels like really bright and open and I really want to see the bathroom. Look how big it is, right? No, we, we literally, we made like an $800,000 house master suite here. Okay, so I think you're gonna be excited about the material. I want to do this for the shower pan and the entire floor. And then also in the niche. Beautiful. And what about the rest of the room? White shaker, marble counters white subway tile. And in the guest bathroom, we do white with some black, but with natural stone. Patio cover's gone. What do you think, honey? I think it looks nice. It looks, it looks so much better. It actually looks like a really nice house. It does. We ended up spending 80,000 on the remodel. We're gonna have 25,000 in closing costs when we sell. So our break even is, is gonna be about 615. Are there comps to support that? No. What are the comps? The highest comps are in the upper 500s. So what do you wanna do? On this whole transaction, we're making the money on the land. I think we should, uh, we should list at 250. Let's give it a shot. Deal. It came out really good. Mm-hmm, it does. Clean and crisp. So the one thing that's been scaring me is that bedroom. It's like barely it. big enough for a crib. So they're gonna be upset when they see this bedroom, but they're gonna walk into the master and... It is so pretty. The master bedroom is huge. So this was worth the investment. So I, I think the design's awesome. The house is unique, has a big yard. I mean, I think this house has everything. I agree. 
Nice big, big room. Nice big shower. And yeah. again, the marble in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. It's real so nice. beautiful. I love all the tile, the colors. And you even got enough storage space yeah. in the cabinets. Still, nice size yard. Easy to take care of, but lots of things we can do with it. Yeah. This is a good backyard for entertaining. Oh, this backyard, we could put the, the grill in the middle. So what do you guys think? Love the design. The arches are beautiful. What do you think about the price? I think the price is OK. And the location is great. Thank you for coming by. Thanks right, so much. Thanks. Thank Have you. a great day, guys. Bye. Very nice. We accepted an offer for $567,000 on the house. Technically, we would actually be losing money. Luckily, we received an offer for $250,000 on the lot. So if everything goes through, we'll end up making a profit of just over $198,000. Time to find another house to flip.